Learning a new game engine can be a daunting task, especially for beginners. Not only do you need to learn the ins and outs of the game engine itself, but you also need to find the right resources to guide you on your journey. And judging from your comments, discussions, and suggestions, finding these resources for the Godot 4 game engine can be equally as challenging. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top six picks of resources for learning Godot 4 that I found this week. That being said, if you're just starting with game development or Godot 4, it's very important to start small. Learn the basics of the game engine. Break up your projects into smaller parts rather than trying to jump in and try to create a multiplayer metroidvania with roguelike levels in a vast open world, if there even is such a thing. With these resources, whether you're new to game development or an experienced developer, you'll be able to master this powerful game engine and get on the way to creating the games of your dreams. So if you're ready to take your game development skills to the next level, sit back, relax, and let's get started. In my opinion, the best place for any beginner to start learning Godot 4 is with tutorials. Now, I know that statement may trigger some of you out there and spark a whole other conversation. So let's discuss that in the comment section below. For now, let's look at some of the resources that I found on the internet this week. I found quite a few free and paid resources, and each has its own benefits and drawbacks. First, let's look at paid tutorial. Learning websites like Zenfa or Udemy, which are two of my favorite online websites for paid learning, offer a great way to start learning Godot 4. Zenva has a subscription service where you can pay a yearly fee to gain access to their courses or purchase some of their courses individually. At the time of making this video, there are quite a few Godot 4 courses on Zenva, including a massive 10 hour mini degree course. By subscription, you have access to all the courses as long as you are subscribed. However, if you purchase courses individually, you have full access to them without a subscription. But it's important to note that not all courses are available for purchase individually. If you prefer to pay as you learn, you could try the courses available on udemy.com. There is no subscription fee. You just pay for only the courses you'd like to take. And once you make a purchase, you have full lifetime access to the course. For more information, feel free to check out the links to these websites provided in the description. Now for some free resources. While the free tutorials on YouTube have the obvious advantage of being free, they are mostly being prepared by passionate developers like myself that just want to share their experience with Godot 4. They may not be an all-inclusive package because there's only so much that a person can share in a short YouTube video. The Godot docs offer a great place to start learning Godot 4. They have updated their tutorials to reflect the changes made for Godot 4. Don't let the name fool you. Kids Can Code is an amazing resource for those completely new to game development. It offers step-by-step -step tutorials and does a really great job of explaining everything as you go along. They even provide links to other resources if you find yourself struggling with the code. Codeacode.com is a fantastic resource that caters to beginners. It offers a variety of tutorials and resources to make coding easy and enjoyable. In addition, they provide a supportive community and Discord server where you can connect with other like-minded individuals who are willing to help. The website that impressed me the most this week was quiver.dev. It offers so much more than just tutorials, such as game templates, featured projects by other Godot 4 creators, and even host game jams. It's an all-in-one resource that any game developer would love to explore. The Raptoron tutorial that I completed was exceptionally well-crafted, taking a beginner-friendly approach with careful attention to detail. It began by providing a comprehensive overview of the Godot 4 UI and progressed to the creation of a fully functional, endless runner minigame. 
which could easily be extended to develop into a complete game. Completing this tutorial was a great learning experience for me, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I was even able to implement some of my own features to make the game more polished. If you're interested, you can check out the game I made called Ninja Run using the link in the description. Quiver appears to be a new website with a limited amount of available content. However, they have indicated that there's a lot of content planned for the future, as seen in the coming soon label on many of their site features. I hope that Quiver continues to expand and eventually provides a mix of what similar websites like Simmer.io, Itch.io, and the Unity Asset Store offers to game developers using the Unity game engine. This tutorial reminded me of when I first started game development and tried to make clones of popular hyper-casual mobile games like Flappy Bird and Temple Run. I recommend starting game development with hyper-casual minigames for beginners or those new to Godot 4 as they can be made in a short amount of time while still requiring you to learn many of the main features of the game engine. I really hope this information was helpful. If you have used any of these resources or have any resources that you would like to share, let's continue the discussion in the comments. Thanks for watching and let's continue to build and explore these worlds one pixel at a time.